Hello, welcome. I'm Andrew of Better Sheets. You may be watching this video in order to learn how to make a marketplace in a Google Sheet. This is my implementation of it. Um, I've used some interesting features of Google Sheets and tried to make something really cool. Hopefully you enjoyed using it and you want to make one for yourself. Uh, I run Better Sheets. You may be watching this as a member already. Um, I released this early to members. Hello! Um, and everyone in the public is actually able to see this. If you're a member, you are more than happy. I'm more than happy if you share this with anyone who wants to build a marketplace in a Google Sheet. Um, when, if you become a member of, of Better Sheets, I go into a lot of the finer details of this. Right in this video, I am gonna like speed through all of the features and, and what I did to make it. I'm not really gonna go in depth into like exactly the functions and the functionality of what I made. I'm just gonna show you how I made it and I think it has a really nifty trick to it um, in order to unlist things, which was like the hardest problem of once you can like add things to a Google Sheet, but how do you take them off uh, without having, without being able to edit um, a sheet, which is, was the biggest problem to overcome. So hopefully you enjoy this uh, unwrapping of how I made Smarkit, and I hope you can learn something from it too, and hope you come and join Better Sheets and, and learn how to make really cool Google Sheets like this. Okay, so the first step I'm gonna show you is just all of the sheets that are involved with this. They were hidden um, on are hidden for the normal uh, user. If uh, you wanna make this sort of public and, and not show your work or this work, you can hide these and then People can just see this and click on these links to sell something. So uh, let me do this. Let's let's add something. I'll go through quickly all the four sheets and then we'll use it and I'll show you the finer details. So the first sheet is sell. So this is literally a form and people list their items and then their contact information and the ID is here, which we'll use later to unlist things. Um, the first filter we get we get a filter and it says, okay, anything that has a timestamp of today minus seven, we get everything that's been posted within the last seven days. So that's how initially anything that's been, one of the features is, is if it's been listed for more than seven days, it comes off. This is how we do it. We just use a filter that if it's within seven days, it's on. If it's not, it's off. Uh, this filter or this, or uh, this, um, this number or this, column will come into play next. I'll show you that in a second. So the second filter we go through is say, okay, filter for everything. We only want where the column G is equal to zero. So this is here. And what this is doing is it's matching anything on the sold and it's matching it just with the ID. Okay. I don't know if that makes any sense, but basically people will sell. The functionality is people will add something here, they'll input their own ID, which I recommend a nine digit random number, and then they'll use that number to list it here. So anything that exists in both sheets shouldn't be listed. And then it gets filtered out here so it doesn't show up here. And this is the final, is we just take an array formula of this filter. So we don't take the ID, and I'll show you that in a second. Let me fill this up with a couple things and we'll show to fill it up, I'm just going to this link that I gave to uh, sell. Okay, so I filled I filled the um, marketplace with two items. Here's item one, item two, the description of each, the contact here, and now we can see in filter one we have them here, and they have literally a blank uh, um, column here. Filter two, we see them listed here because they have fulfilled that they are not, they have a filter column G of zero, okay? And they are not here on this sheet. So once they become sold, I just have to go unlist something and click on this one. And all we're doing is submitting the ID. So let's submit item one unique ID. Let's submit that. And wait for it to update. There it is, it's off the list. So let's go back to it is still on the sell list. It's on the filter one list, but now it has a match, right? So this array formula says match F to this, this ID with whatever is sold on column B of sold. And if it matches what it's gonna do, it's gonna give you the row that it's on, okay? So this actually comes into handy if you wanna add things to this um, to know who, who sold it, when did it sell, you can, do all that. Basically, you can take this ID, find out here, 
and sit and figure out when it was sold. Um, but that's some functionality we can add later, like how many items are sold, how often they're sold, you can do that later. Um, that makes a sheet better. And so unique item two is still here because it passes the filter of zero in this column here. Because there's no match, it doesn't exist on the sold one, so it still exists and it will come off in seven days. In fact, let's try it. Okay, so just to test this out, I'm gonna try to edit this and I'm gonna say this was like put on two weeks ago, all right? And so does this still exist on the marketplace? No, it doesn't because it go doesn't pass the filter and it's done. We've unlisted it. So if you want to learn how to make really cool Google Sheets, really cool functions, and really creative uses of, of Google Sheets, come check out bettersheets.co. If you're already a member, thanks for watching this, and I would love your feedback if this is something that was like super useful or if this was like something you already knew. Um, if this is like a weird creative um, idea on how to how to use Google Sheets and you use this, I would love to absolutely I would absolutely love to see your implementation and help you. Um, implement it um, in unique ways. There's so many things we can do better than this even. You can list like items sold, how many items. You can put a little dashboard here to show like how many items are for sale, how many sellers. You can add a seller name or contact information. You can combine really cool things. But this is the bare bones basic like here's a marketplace in a Google Sheet without allowing anyone to edit except the owner of the Google Sheet. This is a really cool thing I've never seen implemented. If you know of someone else implementing something like this, I really want to see it. I want to share it with the world and, and help the world make better sheets. Check out bettersheets.co if you haven't already. Bye.